Hi guys, in this video we are going to discuss the problem C, Quiz Master from Code Forces Round 845, Div 2. The problem states, a school has to decide on its team for an international quiz. There are n students in the school. We can describe the students using an array A, where AI is the smartness of the ith student. There are m topics from 1 to m, from which the quiz questions will be formed. The ith student is considered proficient in a topic T. If the smartness of a particular student, that is A of i, mod T is equal to 0, that is, it's uh, divisible divisible by T itself. Otherwise, he would be a rook in that topic. We say a team of students is collectively proficient in all the topics. If for every topic, uh, there is a member of the team that is proficient in that particular topic. At the end, we have to tell them a team which is, which is having a minim minimum score or minimum difference between the smartness of the most smart student and the least smart student. Uh, one thing to note over here is that we don't want to minimize the number of students per se, but we just want to minimize the difference between the most smart and the least smart student. So then they are giving us the two values, n and m, that is the number of student and the, uh, uh, yeah, and the number of topics. So topics would be from 1 to m and there are n students in total and then they are providing us with the smartnesses of each student. Cool. So with that, let's get started with the solution and let me try to, you know, convey the uh, convey the goal that how to uh, develop that kind of an intuition so what we are having is an array and this is an array that is called a so let's call it a1 a2 a3 and so on to a4 a5 a6 so one thing is pretty clear because we want to minimize the difference between the most smart and the least smart student in our team so we can think of it like a sliding window question right so i can say okay this is the sliding window i'm having the benefit over here is that if i'm slid slide uh, like if i am picking this particular window and if my array is already sorted, then I know that that if I pick this particular team, that my answer is going to be uh, A3 minus A1, right? Cool. Uh, what if I can pick this particular team? Would it make sense for me to pick this big uh, big team? No, it definitely won't because I want to minimize my answer, right? Cool. So sliding window definitely looks uh, like the way to go over here. So firstly, we'll be sorting the values. We'll be so sorting the array that we have. And after that, we'll apply, apply a sliding, win, uh, sliding window over here. So sliding window is uh, basically a very easy, you know, uh, algorithm. Even if uh, still, if you have are having problems uh, with sliding window, I'll be covering sliding windows, uh, sliding window protocol, I guess, uh, in a couple of days on this channel itself. So you can uh, may maybe uh, stay connected to the channel so that you uh, get to watch that video. Anyway, so for this particular video, uh, so th for this particular question, firstly, we'll sort it. Right. Then I'll have two pointers. One would be J and the other would be I. So this would tell me that if my team I to J is a valid team or not. Now, how would I check if the team is valid? So firstly, I'll maintain a map or a vector. Let's call it counts. So it would be a vector of uh, all the numbers from zero to uh, from one to M. Right. And it will contain the count of uh, it will contain the count whether uh, that particular number so let's say i'm talking about number four right then it will contain the count that how many students are currently in my team that is being represented by i to j that have a value or or whose intelligence is divisible by four right so it will basically tell me for how many is okay for how many i ai mod four is equal to equal to zero so this is what it's gonna tell me right so the counts vector so the benefit of using this is that whenever I encounter a new student, so let's say I encounter a new student AJ, right? Or A of I because our I is the right pointer. Then I'll simply check for all of its all of its factors. Right? For all of its factors, what I'll do is I'll increment counts I. Then I'll check that if my counts I is now becoming one, that means in my current team there was no person that was having a, val uh, a value such uh, which was divisible uh, divisible by i right so what i can do in this case okay it's count a of i or basically count of a uh, factor of a of i right cool so if this is the uh, this is the case then i'll increment another variable let's call it uh, maybe nums i'll increment this particular variable if this is the case Now what I can do with this, then I can check while my nums value is equal to m. So this would mean that at, I at least have one student 
from uh, like for all the values 1 to m i at least have one student that is uh, proficient in that particular topic so if this is the case i'll keep incrementing my j until this becomes invalid and in at each iteration i'll keep uh, changing my result to minimum of result comma value of a ai which is at the uh, rightmost pointer minus aj because over here ai is the most smart student and aj is the least smart student at the end i'll just have to print the value of result so with that i think the logic is clear let's look at the code once okay so this has uh, this is the code i wrote so over here firstly i'm sorting the values of v then over here one more thing i'm doing is that i'm initially storing the factors you can actually do it on the go because uh, like you'll be calculating it at most twice for every element but this made more sense and was more intuitive to me so i'm just storing the values of factors of each of the numbers then i'm keeping a uh, making a vector counts that would keep the count of uh, the number of students that are uh, proficient in a particular topic within my range that is from i to j or j to i so then i'll start my sliding window protocol over here what i'm doing is that for all the factors of i i'll increase the counts right if the count uh, count of that particular factor now becomes 1 then i'll in increment my variable count so there's a difference between counts and count please make sure that you understand that so counts is actually a vector which uh, is of uh, for all of the those topics and it contains basically the number of students who are proficient in the topic then if my count is now m count m uh, means that i at least uh, i have one to at least one student for all these topics right then i have a valid team right now so i'll st uh, i'll say my result is minimum of result or the difference of the most smart and the least smart student also over here itself i'll have to uh, do uh, like remove that particular student from the team so all of his factors will also go so i'm performing the same logic over here as well i'm decrementing the uh, the count the uh, factor uh, the count related to its factor right and if it becomes zero so that means now no student is available that has a, that has a smartness which is divisible by f itself in that case i'll decrement count and then i'll increment my j at the end i'll print uh, minus 1 if my res is still int max so int max was the value i had provided it or it was a dummy value so if it's still int max that means i was not able to build up any team in that case i'll print minus 1 else i'll print result cool so that was the implementation of the question i hope you were able to understand it if there's any doubt you can let me know in the comment section below or even on the discord server always more than willing to help you out thanks a lot guys